Sorry, I disappeared briefly for a moment. I think there was some uh, problem with the network, but here I am back again waiting for your uh, questions. So what had I said? I'd said Marina Bay Sands, uh, the whole experience of being on top of the world, gardens by the bay. I really enjoyed Chinatown. I love the shopping over there and the food at Dempsey. Those would be my um, top five things in Singapore. Uh, thank you, Ayush. Best time to visit Singapore. I told you that. Uh, thank you for all your kind words, Mr. Mahajan, Mr. Ms. Uh, hi, Avinash. Thank you, Just Sidhu. Good. I'm waiting for your questions. Does anybody have any questions? Fitness tips. We'll get to fitness tips in just a little bit. I'm here to talk about Singapore and how it's a great place for the family to go and visit. And... Um, I am fine, thank you. Baal bade karo, wo mein karungi, jab bakt aayega. Good morning, good afternoon, how are you? Uh, diet plan, we'll talk about that. We'll do a separate Facebook live, especially for that. Thank you, Majid Ali, for your kind words. Thode aur questions ho jai. Otherwise, I will tell you uh, about some of my favorite restaurants in Singapore. So, uh, I do like a lot of the restaurants at uh, Dempsey. And I remember when I was there last, I went to Chop Sui, which is this beautiful um, um, Asian restaurant. Uh, the food is fantastic over there. Um, I went there for lunch and I followed that up with Jones the Grocer, lovely coffee over there. And um, so I like Dempsey because I think there's, there's every kind of cuisine over there. But my favorite restaurant, I have to tell you, is P.S. Cafe. Um, the thing about P.S. Cafe is that it has these um, truffle fries, shoestring truffle fries. Absolutely my favorite. I think that was the first time I ever tasted truffle oil and they do the most amazing chocolate desserts. So uh, those are my favorite restaurants. Uh, what do I like the most in Singapore? Well, um, I like that it's a great place to take the family. There's lots to do. There's lots to see. The zoo is absolutely fantastic the night safari um, so you can go in the day you can go at night and uh, they're totally different experiences the aquarium is something else so when I took my son he had an absolutely great time of course there's Universal Studios okay tell me about my last Singapore trip I did a lot of shopping my favorite place to shop over there is Ion of course at Orchard I also love Takashimaya it's been on for, uh, around for a very long time but has some of my favorite stores and I love the basement of Wisma Atria because they have lovely dresses and lot, lots of fun stuff to be bought there. Okay, lunch kar lo ab. Nahi, lunch ke liye thoda time hai, Nimavat ji. Um, what do I like the most in Singapore? Well, like I said a little while ago, there's so much uh, to do there. I mean, you can do a solo trip. In fact, it's very safe for women to travel also over there it's not like i mean you can totally take a any of the public transport even late at night it is a totally safe city uh, in fact um, i remember uh, my last trip to singapore me and my 14 year old niece we went out for dinner together we had an evening out and it was totally safe to take a cab there to take a cab back um, that's what i like about singapore it's very very safe there's a lot for the family there's a lot to do. You can do a solo trip, you can do a family trip, and you can have equal amounts of fun doing so. Okay, uh, please sing a Bhojpuri song. No, I can't. A, I can't sing, and B, I don't know any Bhojpuri songs. But uh, thank you for asking for these very unusual requests. I just loved your Dilwale Dulanya Le Jayenge look. Thank you very much. When am I coming back to host cricket analysis? Well, cricket is never going to leave my life. It's going to be... Uh, a part of my life always uh, try my luck in Punjab politics no not really how about some more questions on Singapore on my trips to Singapore well let me tell you okay the two hotels I've stayed I stayed at in Singapore um, well three of them St. Regis very beautiful hotel very comfortable really enjoyed myself St. Regis I've stayed at Four Seasons I've stayed stayed at the W which is at Sentosa in fact if you're doing a family trip that's a great you know, place to stay because it is located at Sentosa and all the fun things to do with kids are at Sentosa. Um, so I've stayed there at the W as well. So these are the hotels I've stayed and enjoyed staying at. Um, Sari look is best. Thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
my fitness thank you so much for all the lovely comments related to my fitness in fact let me give you a fitness tip whenever you travel so i never leave home even if i'm taking a one day trip or whether i'm taking a um a, a 10 day trip for a holiday i always travel with my walking shoes because my most important tip that um, that i give people is when you have your walking shoes with you your exercise or your workout can start the moment you finished tying your shoelaces so um that's that's one tip i can give you as far as travel and fitness is concerned uh aapka hairstyle change karna hai theek hai main change kar dungi thode time mein what is my favorite uh, local food in singapore well um there's no real Well, Singapore noodles. Who doesn't love Singapore noodles? But I really like um, teppanyaki. In fact, I enjoy teppanyaki whenever I uh, travel to Singapore. Um, so that's my favorite food when I go there. Um, otherwise, I love eating. Uh, like I said a little while ago, I like eating at the restaurants, the Dempsey PS Cafe. Uh, what was that? Uh, the Chinese restaurant called Chop Suey, and. Uh, there's another very nice restaurant called Cook House at Dempsey. Uh, I ate that the la- uh, ate over there the last time. Of course, Clarkey is great for restaurants and nightclubs. Um, the couple of uh, nightclubs I have visited at Clarkey, well, one is called the F Club. Uh, the decor is very nice; it's very artistic. And I also like Attica. You got to go down to Attica, but it's the feeling of an attic, so that's really nice as well. uh you're welcome i'm enjoying sharing my experiences with you uh, a lot of people are saying they want to meet me thank you mm. any more questions are there any more questions uh let me tell you about this lovely experience that i've had at uh, long bar which is at the raffles hotel that is great fun uh the thing about long bar is that um you know singapore is a very very clean city Uh, you get fined uh, for littering over there. They really manage to keep the city very clean. But the thing about Long Bar is, it's in this very fancy hotel, very fancy part of town. Uh, you you're given peanuts to snack on, and you're allowed to throw the peanut shells on the floor when you're um, having a drink there. So I really love that concept, and I think a lot of people sort of want to go there just so they can litter a little bit, live a little. um because there are so many strict and stringent rules as far as cleanliness um are concerned in singapore and they should be so uh that's a place i like and that's an experience i'd like to share and never forget it i remember having a long island iced tea there uh, at the long bar and eating a lot of peanuts and littering all around my table it was great fun A lot of people want to meet me. Where do you find good chocolates in Singapore? That is a very good question. In fact, I'm going to yeah, look it up and um uh, find out from my friends in Singapore and let you know Surbi. Okay, uh that yes, there is a Buddha poster behind me over here. There's a lot of Buddha influence in my house. I'm currently sitting on the floor in my living room. Okay. lots of fitness related questions but i promise you we'll do a facebook live specially connected to fitness uh for sure if there are any more questions that would be great uh let me let me share with you my experience at the zoo you need a good maybe 3 4 hours to visit the zoo because it is such an amazing experience The night experience and the day experience are completely different. If you go in the day, go first thing in the morning, and make sure you can do breakfast with your orangutans because that is something really special. You're having your breakfast, and there are orangutans sitting over there, and you can feed them a banana, and you can take some pictures with them, and they're very friendly. So that was the highlight of my trip to the zoo. And the Singapore Zoo, I have to say, is the best zoo I've ever visited in the world, and my son also enjoyed that experience. This was a couple of years ago when I went. Most recently, um when I went in October, I went for the night safari because I'd heard so much about it. And that was a lovely experience as well. You're in this little jeep and it's about 7:30 in the evening after dark and you get to see all the animals and there's spotlights on the animals without disturbing them too much. 
and that experience is also really mind blowing something really different um the night safari and the day visit to the zoo are a must when you go to singapore and um um well i've shared the hotels i like to stay at um i shared my favorite restaurants i've uh, shared with you okay the best place in singapore for a photo shoot well singapore has beautiful skylines so i'd love to go up to marina bay sands for a beautiful view because if you put a camera anywhere over there you get a stunning view so maybe marina bay sands hotel would be a great place for a photo shoot that's a nice question thank you um do we have any more questions connected to singapore a lot of people are asking me that i should grow my hair okay i will at some point <laughs> right now i'm enjoying the short hair it kind of goes with my personality thank you for all your compliments thank you very nice and beautiful a lot of people are saying singapore which are the prominent places to visit in singapore there's great shopping uh, over there the, i as i said i recommend the zoo i recommend sentosa ah maybe i didn't talk about uh, the um uh universal studios and the aquarium so universal studios is absolutely fun and fantastic i'm a ride junkie i really enjoy rides the mummy experience is great there um humans and cyclones those are fantastic uh, roller coaster rides there's also enchanted airways which my son and i both enjoyed there was a puss in boots ride as well which is fantastic um but the transformers ride is absolutely something else that's the one i always go for twice when i go to uh, um universal studios the experience is fantastic uh, it's a 3d experience and you are sitting in this little pod and you're taken all over the countryside it's a little bit scary but it's great fun i really enjoyed um, universal experience uh, universal studios and i enjoy going there every single time i go to singapore it's like a thing i have to tick off on my list whether i'm with my son or not i go to universal studios that's how much i love it uh do i have yeah i have some family in singapore that's a nice question i have a brother who lives there so i do visit him very very often i have my family who lives there but um i still keep going back because there's still so much to do in singapore and every time as i said i book i book on make my trip actually any time i'm booking tickets or hotels for anywhere that's where i i i like the convenience of being able to um of being able to just book uh at the click of a button on your phone uh there's a nice question how, minimum how many days should one plan while going to singapore well if you want to cover singapore and do a lot there's lots of things that take up the whole day like the zoo would take up half your day universal studios takes up your entire day then shopping you need to keep a couple of days aside for that so i would say a good amount of time for for shopping would be, uh, for 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 going to singapore uh, would be about 10 days 10 days or 12 days is a is a perfect amount of time to give singapore its due there's even chinatown which is very charming which you would in, in, enjoy um so uh, yeah what was i saying so i i um uh always book on uh, make my trip because i think that's uh, really convenient uh you get the best deals the guess uh, the best prices and um um any time i want to go anywhere be it a, a ticket that's domestic or be it a ticket that's um uh, international uh i think uh, the, the you you get a range of whatever is available um, how many stops um what the prices are comparative prices so it's it's really very useful it's like having your um own travel agent at the click of a button any time of, of day or night you don't have to pick up the phone and call anyone you, you it's just there available all the information at your fingertips thank you you're enjoying watching me live how do i keep myself so he- healthy and fit okay i'm going to quickly give you a quick fitness uh uh trip somebody over here says um i made my mind next travel is definitely singapore through mmt that's great my favorite footpath in singapore i don't have a real f- a favorite I've been to Singapore through MMT and enjoyed it. Happy Sunday, ma'am. 
what's the best time of the year i i would say anywhere anywhere from october to april uh okay uh, time for a quick fitness tip. Let me throw one of those quickly in. Like I said, you should always travel with your, uh, um, with your walking shoes, running shoes, because you can walk or run anywhere. Your exercise starts the moment you tie your shoelaces. Uh, but a fitness tip I would give when you travel is a good thing to travel with is you get these Thera bands, which are, uh, which are just these thin strips of rubber, and they don't weigh anything you can put them in your suitcase and you can do pretty much every every part of a, your body can get worked out with those bands you can travel with them and uh, sometimes when you're staying at a place which where you don't have access to a gym you can even work out in your hotel room so there's a fitness tip for you for all those who asked um cricket commentary my god so many questions regarding cricket Favorite nightlife spot in uh, Singapore? Well, um, Clark Key is great fun. Like I said, uh, uh, Clark Key has two really nice places which I enjoy, the F Club and Attica. Uh, you can go to lovely restaurants at Dempsey, even at Clark Key for good food and for, you know, the nightclub feel. Oh, one of my favorite restaurants, which I did not talk about, which is on the top of Ion Mall is Paradise Dynasty. They have the best noodles. In fact, whenever I go there, I don't order anything else. I just order a, a, a portion of Hakka noodles. I don't share it with anybody else and I eat it all by myself. And that's all I eat because the noodles are so good over there. Okay. Aapne jo kuch bhi paya, kya kabhi socha tha aisa kuch? Actually, God is very kind and very thankful for all the opportunities that have come in my life, be they work, uh, be they um, the travel that I get to do, uh, be, be it the fact that after 22 years, I'm still working and I'm still enjoying myself, uh, doing the work that I do. So I'm very thankful and grateful for all of that. Uh, saying a lot of hellos, Onkar, hello Manoj, hello Rashid, uh, hi Urmila. Rupesh Goyal, lots of people uh, tuning in. Mohammed Farooq asked me what's my favorite song. Let me throw that in very quickly. There's a song by Calvin Harris called Fields. That's my favorite. Uh, will you come to Kashmir? Yes, I've come to Kashmir a few times and I really enjoyed it. I was there last year itself. Um, in Singapore, I haven't had an underwater scuba diving experience, but I, I would like to. Uh, which is the city you most like in the world? Well, you know, cities that have uh, lots to do. I like South Africa and I like Singapore because there's something for family and there's something even if you do solo and if you're an ad adventure junkie, there's some of that as well. Um, what's next? Okay, hi, hi Sandeep, hi Priyanshu, um, hi Nusrat. Lots and lots of people saying hello. Lots of compliments coming my way. Thank you so very much for that. I'm going to be on live for another two minutes only. So if there are any more questions related to Singapore, well, let me tell you quickly about a very well-kept secret in Singapore. Uh, there's a club called 1880, which uh, opened only two months ago. It's a members-only club, and it's very fancy, and it's very fun. And um, uh, it's got swimming pools, and it's got restaurants, and it's got, uh, you know, people prominent people coming and speaking and have sessions with prominent people. So um, that's that's uh, something a lot of people don't know about. So that's one of the best kept secrets about Singapore uh, because it's by invitation only. So uh, that's very nice. I enjoyed that. Um, nice to see you so energetic. Love to, I love to see you on screen since my childhood. Thank you so both. I'm very happy to see you. Thank you so much. Priyanshu, yes, Priyanshu, you're most welcome. Debashish, Krishna Dein Ramaswamy, Sumit, so many people tuning in. Uh, the messages are non stop. Nusrat, hi Nusrat from Lonavla. Hello, Alan, Priyanshu. Uh, if we have any more questions, okay, which according to you is the most romantic place in Singapore? Well, there's a lovely uh, restaurant on top of gardens by the uh, bay the restaurant over there 
it's in such a beautiful setting with beautiful lights uh changing colors behind you it's very very romantic and very beautiful i remember going there with my husband and i really enjoyed it so i've given you a romantic spot as well um okay thank you shanti was your favorite program says siddharth thank you ranjit thank you uh karma dinesh thank you so much for all your lovely comments i wish i could have responded to each and every one of them uh i shared a lot of my experiences um that i've had in singapore i hope they're useful to you and i hope a lot of you get on to make my trip right on today itself and book your next holiday over there to singapore because i really do recommend singapore uh as a great family destination for those of you who travel solo be it men or women there's plenty to do there uh if you do a solo trip as well so here's mandira bedi signing off uh saying bye bye to the last few people saif arnab mrigendra parkash karma uh monish thank you all for all your lovely comments mickey uh this is me signing off saying goodbye i hope um, my little chat with you was useful and i hope um, you got some tips on how and where to go to when you're in singapore next and of course when you're booking your tickets in your hotels do so uh on meetbytrip.com